If you haven't read the problem here, it says an interior designer. Actually, that's loading up. There we go. There you go. Okay. An interior designer is ordering a mirror that is shaped in the shape of a parallelogram. Okay. Find the unknown degree measures represented by X and Y. Okay. Now you're going to take geometry next year and you're going to learn why these things are true, but I'm going to color code them. I'm going to highlight them real quick here. So in a parallelogram, alternate interior angles are congruent. So you don't need yeah. to know that. You just need to know that X minus Y equals 65. Yeah. And then the other thing here is that, and this is from geometry, opposite angles in a parallelogram are congruent. X plus Y equals 105, all right? So now you have your system, and this, Excuse me, this is key. You have to you have to have your system to be able to um, to solve. Okay, so you got to write your okay. equations. You got to make sure they're correct. But now, now um, you have to be able to solve it. So there's two approaches. Well, there's three. There's graphing, uh, which you, you don't use very often. Once once you use the other, once you have the other two, uh, yeah. substitution and elimination. Okay. All right. So what, what do you see here? Do you feel like this is substitution, elimination? I keep see mind, elimination. Okay, why is it elimination? I agree. It is definitely elimination. Because of the negative Y and positive Y. Exactly. Exactly. So you're just going to add them up. You're going to add vertically. So we have an X okay. plus an X, 2X. And like you just said, minus Y plus positive Y. It goes away. It's zero. We don't write zero y. Like it, you don't say zero times a, a variable. That doesn't doesn't help because it is zero. And you don't even write zero because it it goes away. On the uh, right here, it's one seventy, and then you divide both sides by two because you're trying to solve for x. You're trying to get x by itself. Okay. Now they're kind of helping out, helping you out here by giving you the answers. I don't know if you, I don't know if you saw that already. They're kind of giving you the answers here in a way where it could be helpful, but um, okay, that that's only that should only, that. <laughs> that should only be to check. That should only be to check. You know, like because you because okay. on the on the test, right? They don't give you the answers. <laughs> Wouldn't yeah, be much of a test. <laughs> All right. Now, are you done? Have you solved? The problem we haven't solved for y yet exactly so you're only at half credit right now does it matter which equation you choose no which equation do you want to use which is better um, for you i like the second equation more i like the second one too so you can rewrite it you can then put the value in for x 85 plus y equals 105 and then you subtract 85 from both sides and you get y equals 20. Okay. Now again, a kind of a little little thing here is is you really need the degree symbol. If you're being like super, you know, you want to be that A plus all star student, um, which is a good goal to have. In these word problems specifically, they do ask you kind of for more. Um, real realness to your answers okay and then okay. another point here is you could check your answers like you could go back to both equations and make sure that 85 minus 20 is 65 and 85 plus 20 is 105 and it does work mm -hmm. okay thank you now you know again like i feel like this is outside the scope of what you would be expected to do so it might be a good idea to ask your teacher like hey I haven't taken geometry yet. I wouldn't necessarily know that these were congruent. Will the test be like this? Okay. Yeah, we're kind of learning a little bit of these kind of problems right now. Okay. So yeah. Now, now I forgot already. Is it twenty-two? Is the next one? Yes. Want to okay. So I kind of already set up the equation for that, but I just didn't know what to do from there. All right. Let me uh, read it, and then uh, I'll I'll see. I'll listen to you. Tell me what equations you've come up with. But let me take a look at it first. After an elbow injury, a volleyball player has a restricted movement of her arm. Her range of motion, <laughs> measure of angle one, is 28 degrees less than the measure of angle two. Find the measure of each angle. Okay, give me um, give me your equations. Okay, so I got 
X plus Y equals 180. Good. And X equals Y plus 28. Okay. All right. So which, which is the angle on the left here X or is the angle on the right X? The angle on the right is X and the angle on the left is Y. Okay. All right. So the equation you gave me is correct. I believe this will work. Um, my issue here is that I probably would have had you use subtraction because of this less than. Okay. Uh, but but that's also dependent on where your variables are and things like that. So let's, this probably will work, but um, we'll know here in a moment. So you, you said, hey, I don't know what to do here. You don't know what to do at this point. Um, you have to decide, is this substitution or is it elimination? And it's substitution if any of the following are true. A variable is already solved for. Yes. One, Which, the second one is already solved. Yeah. So, so that tells you this is substitution. You don't have to go any further. Okay. So this Y plus 28 takes the place of X. Okay. All right. So what I, what I mean by that is you write, instead of X, you write Y plus 28 plus Y equals 180. Okay. Okay, now this one's maybe a little bit harder than the previous one. We're gonna combine like terms. Combine okay. like terms, okay? So uh, what are the like terms here that you see? Y. One Y and one Y, what do they add up to? Two Y. Two Y plus 28 equals 180. Okay. Okay, now we talked about this PEMDAS, right? But that's for simplifying. Yeah. That's for simplifying. You go to the right for simplifying. You go backwards to solve, meaning you undo addition and subtraction before multiplication and division, and your focus is on the side with the variable. OK. So you look at that side with the variable. You're like, all right, what is the 2? This is a question for you, Luis. 2, what is it doing to y? What is the math operation between the 2 and the y? Um. It's one of these over here. It's either multiplication, division, it's addition. Multiplying. It is. How about this this symbol right here in the twenty eight? What's the math operation there? It's adding. Adding. So you just said you just said multiplication and addition. Which do you undo first when you're solving? Which do you undo first? Would you undo the addition? Yes. Okay. okay. So let me just reframe this uh, problem here. Two uh, y plus twenty eight equals one eighty. Yes, you undo addition with subtraction. Okay. And if, and if you need a calculator or that's allowed, you know, please use every available uh, resource uh, to you. That would equal 152. Perfect. Okay. Now you, you can, you can essentially ask yourself the same question, like what on the side with the variable, what is keeping Y from being by itself? But you already know it's, it's multiplication because you said that. How do you undo multiplication? Divide. Divide by two. So we have y equals 76. 76. Okay. Okay. Now, now the problem with what you have just done here potentially is if the teacher is really, really picky about which, like they want you to say the range of motion angle one, angle two, but you got one of the right numbers. So I'm, I'm pretty happy. That's, that's where this whole like, you know, less than thing could have come into play, but you've done everything perfect. Um, so now we just need to find Y and you, and you've got an equation for Y, Y is, or X is, I'm sorry, you need to find X. X is Y plus 28. So you take that number, substitute it in for Y and you get 28. And then you just add the two? Yep. Okay. And the next is 104. 104. Now your your picture was was fine to start. Um, you called X angle two. That's 104 degrees. It's an obtuse angle, meaning it's a little bit bigger than 90. This is 76 degrees. It's acute. These are things you will learn in geometry, or maybe you already learned yes. them in a previous class. 
but it it's the reasonableness of your answer. Uh, like like your answer is like could, I mean I, I think it's right. Obviously, it is right because it's the same numbers in the book. But you want to ask yourself like let's say it's asking you for the price of a baseball and you find that the price of a baseball is $35. I mean, even with inflation, that sounds pretty high right now for baseball, you know, or, or the okay. price of a, you know, gallon of gas is uh, you know, 14 cents, you know, you're like, eh, no, that doesn't seem right. So you need to, as a math student, think about the reasonableness of these um, problems, you know, are they, and, and that's hard because you don't have a ton of life experience, but they're, they're worth kind of thinking about. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so we've gone through two of the four problems. I mean, do, should we go through the other two? Do you feel like you have them down? Um, I have them down, yes, but I just like to verify if they're correct. Yes. <laughs> okay, good enough for me. Um, so we'll start with 19. Sounds good. So what I, what I take this to mean is you have already written the equation. So give me one of your equations for 19. So x plus y equals 100. Good. And x minus y equals 50. Very good. What method did you use to solve these? I used elimination. OK, so you added vertically? Yes. Did you have, get 2x equals 150 in your next line? Yes. And then did you divide by 2? Yes, and I got 75 for x. OK. And then which equation did you use to solve for, for y? I use the first equation. And so I, 75 plus y mm -hmm. equals 100. So we have y equals 25. Fantastic. Yes. That's correct. All right. OK. Let's look at uh, 21, the traffic signal. So this one was kind of a little bit more confusing, but I think they probably got it. Yeah. Um, Feels like this was I, taken. Out. I don't really use fractions that much, so I was kind of confused a little bit. All right, what uh, what were your equations, or what did you? So I put x plus y equals one eighty. Good. And two over five x plus y equals ninety. Did you say equals ninety or equals y? Plus y equals ninety. Okay. How did you know that? How did you know that that equals 90? Because the two angles are right angle combined. Is there so a word, is there, is there a word in here that says that though? Cause the picture doesn't. Um, yes, I have it in my notes. Let me just pull it out. That's okay. That's okay. I'll just, I'll just highlight it here. It's right here. It complimentary. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. Well, that's true. No, no. Complimentary is true, but it says here perpendicular. And that, oh, okay. cause I, cause I, that's the so you know our very first lesson. I mean that that's what the whole your mom told me on the phone. She's like, you know, he got the right answer. The teacher, you know, didn't see any work. Like, the teacher wants some indicator that that means ninety degrees. Okay. And it's it's kind of it's a good strategy to it's. I mean, you express yourself really well in email. The teacher's looking for the same thing here on your paper. Okay. Like yeah, that's have, what she wants to. Yeah. Have Have you ever? Like, do you know, do you understand what I mean by being overly communicative? Yeah, like labeling what you're trying to describe yeah. in your problem. So sometimes it's saying what every what you know appears to be obvious. Like, have you been outside today? Yes. <laughs> it's a beautiful day, right? It is. <laughs> sometimes you just say the obvious, right? It's a beautiful day. The the teachers look for something there, because um, while while what you said is true, I didn't know where that came from. I didn't know how you okay. knew that. And that's, I think, the issue the teacher is having. They're like, uh, is he, you know, I'm not, I, and I'm not accusing you of anything here, but it's like, is he using photo math? Is he, you know, asking uh -huh. his friend, like, what is he doing? Because there's not enough evidence to support that you are doing this on your own, which is what they're looking for. Oh, okay. So it, it's it's a weird thing to be talking about because I think you're doing it on your own. I, I, I do think there's understanding here. Um, all right, now let's talk about fractions. Mm -hmm. So my, my general strategy is to eliminate fractions. What is the denominator yes, of this fraction? What is the denominator? Five. Five. So we're going to multiply everything by five. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to show this out. Five times two fifths X plus five times Y equals five times 90. You have to multiply everything. 
everything means everything. It doesn't mean choice. You know, choose one. I don't know if you have a brother or sister, but it's like, if everyone gets, you know, an ice cream, then everyone gets one. Not, you know, you get one, but they don't. It's everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, uh, the preference for most students is to multiply the top, the five times the two, and then the one times the five. Okay. So that gives you 10 over 5x plus 5y equals 180. I'm sorry, 450. Okay. Now, has the fraction been eliminated? Not yet. Not yet. But hopefully you'll tell me what this reduces to. Two. 2x, yeah, 2x plus 5y equals 450. Okay, and now, now kind of okay. what you want to do at this point is you want to you want to now like reframe the problem. Um, it's a little bit wow. easier for me to do because I've got I got <laughs> copy and paste. But you you have two equations now, like this. And my question to you is is how how do you solve this? Do you use substitution or elimination? There's actually no wrong answer here. Just whatever you. Probably elimination. Okay. Which variable are you going to eliminate? X. Okay. So to eliminate X, do you remember from class what you would multiply this first equation by? You don't multiply it by two. Okay. So here, I'm going to show you the result of that down here. So it becomes two okay. X plus two Y equals 360. And it looks very promising. Okay. But, but it's not opposite in sign. So you're, with elimination, you really want opposite in sign. Do you understand what I mean by that? Yes. Okay, so a better choice would have been negative two. Okay. Because now- Positive on that side. Yeah, now you've got negative, okay. negative, negative. And what that does is is that it it now cancels when you add, because you, you, you do not want to subtract. You really want to avoid subtraction if you can. Okay. So we got, we're working vertically here, 2x minus 2x. That's, what does that become? 2x minus 2x yes. equals nothing. Zero, yep. How about 5y plus minus 2y? 3y. 3y, good. Equals? Equals 360. You're Wait, no, you're you got the four. 450 Sorry. plus negative 360, yeah. Yes. 90. Very good. And can you tell me in words now what you do to solve for y? You would divide by 3. Good. So y equals 30. Almost there. OK. okay. So you have a choice, right? You, yes. you can either use this x plus y equals 180 or the two fifths x plus y equals 90. You've already said, hey, I don't I don't like fractions. So let's not let's use the x plus y equals 180. Yes. You plug in the 30 to y. Uh Would you divide both sides by three or would you subtract the 30? So what I'm looking at is, is X plus 30 equals 180. Is that, is that what you have written? Yes. Okay. So what is the number in front of X? What's, what's the number that's not written in front of X? One. One. So here's what you have. You have multiplication by one and you have addition by 30, basically an okay. M and an A situation. Which do you undo first? You would undo the multiplication. So whenever you're, addition. yeah, addition. It's a, it's, you got to be really clear on that because it's like, is it north, south, you know, true, false. Yes, you undo addition and subtraction first. So you turn that into minus. X would equal 150? Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so we have some choices now. We can do more systems. 
uh, which would be good for you. That absolutely would be helpful. Um, if you have other oh. problems you want us to work on, like maybe you have an old assignment or you have something from the past. Um, so that, let me actually write these down. So we got some options here. Um, so, so like number one would be if you've got old assignments or something you need to get cut up and that's really good. The other is uh, more systems. Okay. Uh, the third option is, um, is uh, solving uh, multi-step equations. I can tell there's some confusion on that still. Um, which kind of goes into systems, but it, it's totally up to you. Or if you want me to pick, I will. Um, you can pick. Go ahead. Okay. Um, do you, so, so mom's concerned though that you have, do you have any more homework due on Monday? No, this is it. This is it. Okay. How does that feel being done with your homework? It feels good. <laughs> All right. I like hearing that. And then do you get a new assignment on Monday? Yes, we will. Okay. Got it. Okay. All right. So, um, I saw you kind of jump right in at the end there for that SAT prep class. We actually covered systems because uh, I was thinking of you, believe it or not. Um, hoping, hoping. Yeah, I accidentally joined that but, one. No, no, you were that you were invited. You were invited. It was. Uh, but uh, let's okay. look at some. Let's look at some questions here. Um, so, let me. What I want to do here is not give you the multiple choice. So let me. I just need to do a quick processing on the question. Um, for that all right yeah we usually don't have multiple questions. that's right yeah and there's you know you, you you practice for the real thing okay so here is a yeah. system of equations do you agree okay. that this is a system yes i want you to tell me which method you're going to use substitution or elimination and why you would use substitution because the variable is already answered Okay, now tell me in words, what are you substituting for what? Like assume that I don't know, you're teaching me now. You would substitute the two, correct? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here, let me let's, let me help here. I'm gonna color code it so you can you can uh, try. And I, I'm not asking you to be a wordsmith here. I'm just asking you to, to the best of your abilities, try to explain to me what is happening. This green, is going where? Into the Y. Okay, so here, here's how here's how I want you to say it. We are going to substitute X plus two, X plus two in for Y in the second equation. Okay. Okay, and I'm not, this is not like, you know, it's not an oral exam, you're not like graded on this, not English, it, it, but, it, but it, there is power in knowing the right words to say to communicate what you're doing. So could you try that back? Tell me what, what you heard there. What are you going to do to solve this? So we're, we're going to substitute X plus two in for Y for the second equation. Exactly. Okay. okay. Now, in terms of how you do that, wherever you see a Y, you put in the X plus two. Like this okay. was Y, but now it's, now it's gone. All right, so let me know when you get caught up to this step, please. Okay, I'm done. All right, do you know what to do next to solve this? Or tell me what you would do next to solve this. So now I would add the parentheses, that's plus two, and the two adds plus four. So it, it, in terms of simplifying though, you have to do what first when you simplify? You would have to you do parentheses. Do yeah, parentheses. Okay. Can you add x plus two in here? Could you? Because yeah, yeah. Are you able to? I'm asking you. Like, can you tell me what x plus two is? It's two x. No. no, no, no. X x plus x is two x. Okay. X plus two is x plus two. Oh, okay. So this is what I mean by like terms. Like terms means they're they're the same. Um, okay. It's like it's like if you have an egg plus an egg, what do you have? Two eggs. Two eggs. I don't mean to make you hungry, but if you have an egg plus one strip of bacon, what do you have? An egg and bacon. That's right. Not two eggs. Okay. So that 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 number by that itself, it, it's not the same as eggs. Like they're not even in the same category. Like if you ever counted Halloween candy or, you, you know, if you're like, whenever you're organizing stuff, like things are different, mm -hmm. um, you know, pants and shirts. I mean, sure, they're all clothing, but there's some difference there. All right. So here's what I was gonna, trying to get you to, to tell me is we want, 
you want to distribute that four, that four in parentheses here. Okay. And you're multiplying. Yes. Okay, so can you tell me what four times X is? Four X. Okay, and what about four times two? It would equal eight. Okay, all right. Now, your next step is to combine like terms. Eggs with eggs, bacon with bacon. What can you combine here in this line? You can combine the two ets and four ets. Okay, what does that become? Eight ets. You're adding. Oh, six ets. Six x plus eight equals eight. Let me know when you get caught up with the step. Okay. Are, are you there? You're there, okay. Yes. All right, and then um, what do you do from here? So this is like some of the ones we've seen. You've got multiplication by six on the left, and uh, and then you've got you've got add eight. Which do you undo first, the addition or the multiplication? You would undo the addition. Yes, so you would subtract eight from both sides. So six x equals. What does equals six x zero? Because yeah. Okay. Now, even with zero on the right-hand side, you still proceed. How do you undo multiplication by six? Divide. Divide by what? Six. Yes. Now, what is what is any what is zero divided by any number besides zero? Six. Nope. So division is a sharing problem. Okay. Now I'm going to assume you have some friends. Let's say you have six friends. Okay. But you have nothing to share with them. The pizza box is empty. How many slices of pizza does each friend get? Zero. Yeah. And that's the answer. My okay. screen's uh, my screen's just not responding at all. Just need a moment here. So think of division as a sharing problem. Think of it as the top number is what you have and who you have to share it with. Okay. So if you have nothing, sense. if you have nothing and you have six people. Like it doesn't matter. You you got nothing. Okay. Okay. All right. And we'll talk about the other one someday. It's it's uh, doesn't have a great analogy. It's like not having any friends, which is bad. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we don't want that. All right. Now I'm gonna just grab the original equations, snip them in here again. So x is zero. Which equation are you gonna use to solve for y? You are going to use the first one. Okay. And what is the value of y as a result of that? The value of y is zero plus two, which is zero. I mean, two, sorry. It's two, good. Now, I want you to check your answer in the this second equation. I want you to check x equals zero, y equals two. And what I mean by that is put zero in for x, uh, Just two, do the same thing. two in for y, and make sure that it works. Make sure you get eight equals eight. Okay. And you would equal Yes. All right, give me, uh, let me, let me pull up. Uh, I got a work, I got a systems worksheet on my website. Let me pull that up and uh, grab a couple more substitution problems. So you can, because I want you to try one more on your own because we need to spend a little bit more time on elimination. So let me just get that up here. Website worksheets, systems of elimination, substitution is what we're doing. All right, and then let's do, uh, yeah, let's do one of these. Okay, let me grab a problem here. Okay, so here's a new problem. All right, so here's your new problem to look at. Okay. This is substitution because one of the variables is already solved for. All right. Yes. 
Now we have not tried this yet, but I want you to spend like a minute or two working on this problem, but you're not on an island. If you don't know what to do, please ask. Uh, I may ask you some questions in return, but I'd like you to see how much progress you can make on this problem. It's very similar to one we just did. And uh, okay. let, me, let me know if you have any questions along the way. Okay, thank you. Do you have any questions for me thus far? Okay, so I did get kind of stuck. So I set up the equation. You would plug in the y for negative 7x plus y. So here's what I heard. I'm, you're going to take 5x minus 2 and uh, substitute in for y. Substitute for y, yes. Okay. So, so you, you should have something... You have, should have something like this. Is that what your line looks like? Um, I actually put plus y, so let me just fix that real quick. Okay, so, so like that is going in for y. Okay, so that's what I did wrong. Okay. All right, now any idea what to do from here? You would subtract 5x minus 2. What are the like terms? What are the eggs in this problem or the bacon? The negative 7 and 5x. Negative 7x and 5x. What do those add up to? That adds up to negative 7x plus 5x, right? Right, but that, that reduces. Like... I'm asking you off to the side here, what is minus 7x plus 5x? Um, negative 2x? Yes, negative 2x, very, said very well. Minus 2 equals minus 6. OK. OK, now, you know, a little different than the last one in some ways, but you're multiplying x by negative 2, and then you're subtracting 2. Which do you undo first? You would undo the minus 2. OK, so how do you undo subtraction by 2? Add 2. Add 2, yeah. Now I'm just sensing there's a little bit of an uncomfortableness with, with positive and negative numbers when you're adding and subtracting. So if you yes. need to clarify anything, please ask. Or if you're allowed to use a calculator technology, you know, go for it. Um, could you actually clarify that? Because we're not allowed to use calculators. Yeah. OK, well. so yeah. Um, and, and you know, if the, the, the issue here is if you don't learn this now, like I have a I have people that return to school and they're like, yeah, I'm, you know, I want to do nursing or do something really cool. And they're like, I don't even remember how to do this. And you're like, this is a problem. Right. So let's figure it out right now. So okay. do you agree? Do you agree that these are opposite in sign? Yes, they are. And this is the one that's most confusing. When they're opposite in sign, you have to figure out which one is further from zero. We, basically, which one is bigger? Which is kind of bigger, minus six or positive two? Positive two. Okay, so your answer, your answer to me is <laughs> which one was further right on the number line? I want you to look at them without the sign. Which is bigger, a six or a two? The negative six. Right. So now, the bigger one tells you the sign. So see how it was negative six? Mm -hmm. That tells you the answer is negative. Okay. 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 If it were six plus negative two, it would be six positive because six is positive, but it's not. Then you take the larger 
and subtract the smaller without the sign. Because you can do that. I'm sure you're like, yeah, that's four. But then you bring yes. down the negative. Okay. So, so there's two steps. Step one is to determine the sign. How do you determine the sign? Tell me, tell me how you determine the sign between these two. Between the negative by the six and the plus by the two. Yes. How do you determine the sign? What did you, what did um, you hear? What did I say? What did, I'm trying to figure out what you, what you heard back. Um, from that. So what I saw you do was that you brought down the negative and you still did the same thing. Just but, but, but why, but why I'm looking at these two numbers. I'm looking at minus six and positive two. Okay. Which is further from zero? Negative six. So that's, that tells you the sign. Okay. Okay. Then you look at the, then the second thing is you take the larger and you subtract the smaller without the signs. So basically they both become positive. Okay. Let me just write that down. I'll put yeah. And we're going to do a couple examples of this because I, I know that that's not clear. Um, Okay. Okay. So really quickly, let's look at some examples here. How about negative seven plus 10? So step one is to look at the two numbers and decide which is further from zero, negative seven or positive 10? Positive 10. So the answer is positive. Okay. Now you, you write the numbers without the sign. See how this is without the sign? Yes. Okay. And then you take the larger which is larger, 10 or 7? 10. And you subtract the smaller. And then I give you 3. Yes. Now, someday you okay. will go, and it won't be that far, maybe some hour from now, you will go immediately to the answer. But for now, you have to do this. You have to uh, determine which is further from 0. Mm-hmm. Okay, that tells you the sign. Then write the numbers without the sign and take the large and subtract the smaller. So let's try another one here. Negative eight plus four. Which is further okay. from zero, negative eight or positive four? Negative eight. So the answer is negative. Okay. Then you look at the numbers without the sign, and I'm writing them, yes. you take the larger and subtract the smaller. And that equal negative four. Yes. Let's try another okay. one here. Try this one on your own, please. Okay. Negative one. Okay, try this one, please. I got one. Okay, try another one here. Is this six minus three? Yes. Okay, that's three. Now, it, this follows the same thing, even though I put, even though I put the, um, I just made it more of a standard way you're used to seeing it. Okay, now the same thing applies to variables. Like, let's say it's minus 5x plus 8x. Do you still look at the number? Yes. Without, y the x comes down, like it's just part of the answer, but you, you do the same thing with the yeah. number, negative five. And so can you tell me what goes down here? So it'd be negative three x. Which is further from zero, negative five or positive eight? The positive eight. So we know your answer is positive. 
Then you look at them without the sign. So five and eight, which is larger, five or eight? The eight. Minus the five. It was three, okay. Okay, we'll get a chance to work on some more of those. Let's jump back to the problem we were doing. What is, can you tell me negative six plus two now? Yes. Negative four. Negative four, good. Now this is a little bit new. What What is keeping X from being by itself? What are you multiplying X by? By negative two. Yes. So you're going to divide both sides by negative two. Can you tell me what negative four divided by negative two is? Two. Two. Good. Perfect. Okay. Now we're doing that to get to get x. Can you tell me the value of y since x is two? Yes. Y would equal eight? Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. Let's uh let's look at another system here. Um this one's really like the one we just did. I know we've kind of got sideways on a little tangent, but um try solving this one on your own. It's very much like the last one. One of the variables is already solved for. You take that expression and you put it in for the variable in the other equation. So to set this up, would it be 3x minus 2x plus 6 equals 8? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. okay. So now uh, you're going to combine like terms, the 3x minus the 2x. that equal x equals two? X is two, good. Now, can you give me okay. the value of y? Yes. Y would equal two. It equals two, good. All okay. right, well done. So let's look at another style of question here. It is substitution. Uh, we're gonna get you really solid on this, but it also, it's gonna help to illustrate some of the other issues with solving multi variables with uh, multi-step equations. Okay, now this is a system that you probably have never seen before. Um, and my question to you is, is, is 
one of the equations solved for a variable? Is one of the equations yes. solved for, yes. Actually, they both are. Yes, they both are. Okay, and these are actually the first type you usually see with substitution. Do you remember from class what you do in this case when the same variable is solved for? Um, no, I don't think we've ever really done that. So it's, it's, it's actually more straightforward than you would think. You pick one, okay. like maybe maybe this one here, and you put that yeah. in for x. So wherever you see an x in the other equation, you plop it in there. Okay. So it becomes minus 2y plus 3 equals minus 5y minus 6. So uh, when you get, let me know when you get caught up to this line. We'll talk about what to do from here. Okay, I'm caught up. All right. Now, this is different because in the previous problems, you had the y's on the same side. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. there's there's kind of a preference. There's a preference here to to move left. So what I mean by that is we're going to add 5y to both sides. We want to move the variable left. Okay. What if it was the opposite? Would you add like if there, 2y? Yeah. So you could, we're going to, we'll do that. We'll do that uh, over here on the left. We'll do that in the okay. next, we'll, we'll do that so you can see that it's the same, but there's always preferences in life, you know? Uh, now I need you to add this minus two Y plus five Y. What does that add up to? That would equal three plus, oh wait, three y plus three equals Good. negative six. You got it. Okay. okay. Now, just because we're really, really short on time here, you subtract three from both sides. Three y equals minus nine, divide by three, and you get y equals minus three. Okay. Now we're gonna we're gonna solve the problem on the right, doing what you just asked, which is, well, what if I want to go the other way? So the, the truth is the more math you take, the more options you get, okay? And, and you develop preferences, believe it or not. Like even, even though you maybe feel like, ah, I'm, I'm not very good at algebra, or I'm really struggling, like you still get preferences when you're doing the this. Same. Okay. Yeah, you get to decide here. So if you add six to both sides, you get nine equals minus three y, um, and divide by minus three, and you get minus three equals y, and these are the same. Okay. So it's, it's a lot like, let me just stop the recording here, um, <clears throat> jump back on.